Trigger Happy here and I'm back again with uh, another tutorial. This is another transition tutorial and the program I will be using is Adobe After Effects. So let's begin. This is what the final product will look like. It's a pretty simple transition so it won't be that hard. See it's plain and it just uh, switches. That looks pretty good and it's very simple to do so let's begin what you want to do is open up after effects which i already have open and import your clips so here are my two clips open and i'm just gonna select which one i want to go first which is this one and i am going to split the layer right uh say here so go to edit and split layer and basically just delete the layer that you split just delete this and bring down your second clip and just put it on top so I'm just gonna let's see well, I wanted to start right there so I'm just gonna do that so you wanna leave like a or you want to have it overlap each other so now what you want to do is go to layer new and add an adjustment layer so on the adjustment layer just go to your effects and presets and type in offset and then you'll see something called distort offset just drag that onto the adjustment layer so in the beginning of the second clip when I go right there and press shift center to and then just uh, add press the stopwatch to add a keyframe and now you want to go to the end of the clip or of the first clip and basically just add another keyframe so let me press U on the adjustment layer just press U on your keyboard and add another keyframe now to that keyframe, you want to go over to the effects control in your left hand corner and where you see 360, you just want to click on it and then on your numerical keypad on your keyboard where in, in between forward slash and minus, you want to press the little star which is to times, hold on, times and then I like to use 13 one thing you should note is that the number you put after the star it has to be an odd number if it's an even number then it's gonna stop like halfway in the screen so you might be wondering nothing's happened when I put that in so if you scroll backwards you see it does a like a, I really don't know what to call this like it's moving up and down or it's moving down I should say so that looks good right there so now what I like to do is uh, in the effects and preset box just type directional direct and just add a directional blur and add that to the adjustment layer and in the beginning just uh, go back over here in the effect control box and add a keyframe by pressing the little stopwatch button and then go halfway in and put it to 50 and then go at the end and put it back to zero so now what you see it's blurry while it's doing it so I'm just gonna on the adjustment layer you want to press U to show the keyframes and then on the offset which is the top one just want to click and drag to highlight both of them and press and well you cannot press well I cannot press F9 because uh, I'm currently recording so you should just press F9 on your keyboard and I'll just right click on it keyframe assistance and add an easy ease so now I'm just gonna go to 
while I'm still clicked on the adjustment layer, I want to go to graph editor and click the button. And hold on, let me. You want to have. You want to click the keyframe and then click the graph editor. And then uh, you want to click these little bars down here and basically just drag them in to make it smoother. So when you play it, see it's uh it's starts off slow moves fast and then ends slowly and then now you could just uh unpress that so now i'm just gonna add a effect color correction and go to curves and then uh i'm just gonna go to the beginning of the first or second clip and add a keyframe so on the adjustment layer, you just press U again to so bring up the keyframes and then go to the end of the first clip and add another keyframe. Now in the beginning, hold on, in the beginning, you want to basically add a color correction. But when once you've done that and you go back to the beginning, you're going to see all these uh, little squares on the, the timeline or this little line thing so what you want to do is just uh, hold it and just quickly drag it off to bring them off because you really don't need that many hold and then drag it off hold and drag it off hold and drag it off and then I'm just gonna add a color a color correction to it so I'm just gonna bring it down and make it darker and I'm gonna add a uh, blue and basically do the same for this line again hold drag it off hold drag it off and so forth and I'm just gonna bring this down to add that pretty nice effect so see it's plain and then yeah so I don't know if you guys noticed this, but there's like this uh, jump from clips. So what I like to do is just go a few seconds in. And let me close this. And on the second layer, you want to press T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity. And add a keyframe. And set that keyframe to zero. Go forward a few frames. And bring it back to 100. 100 what the hell 100 all right so when you see it it's like it starts the slide on the first clip and then fades in to the second clip and because it's going to be moving fast you're not going to really notice it so yeah so what i'm gonna do or let me just ramp preview just to show you guys and RAM preview. That looks good, but I know you guys could hear from the RAM preview. The sound is still there. So what I like to do is go back to the beginning of the second clip and press L on that one and L on the bottom one and just set a keyframe for those. So on the top clip, you wanna put that all the way down to negative 48 decibels and uh, leave the bottom one at zero. Go forward about halfway and put the bottom one to negative 48 decibels. And then at the end of the bottom clip, I'm going to put the second clip back to zero. So let me ramp preview that again and you'll hear how perfect it sounds. See? That's much better. So let me just drag this out. I'm going to trim comp. Right click, trim comp. And then I'm just going to add a color correction to my clip. So I go to effect and uh, match a bullet looks.
I'm just going to add a, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm going to add this one. It's amazing. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to copy and paste this by pressing Control C and paste it on the first clip. Press Control V. So now you're completely finished. That the that is the effect that I wanted to show you guys, and it's a pretty neat and yet simple effect. So yeah, thanks a lot and goodbye.